looking for love, tired of swiping left and right to find the perfect partner? But don't worry, cos I'm here to lend a hand. Are you single? And to take to the streets of Great Britain. Where's it going? Where's it going? Excuse me. And find you your dream date. I'm definitely going to pull some fisses with this. <laughs> go, go, go. Right, just see what he says, what he says. Excuse me. This is so exciting. This is... It's Street Mate. <laughs> Coming up in Cardiff, I'm helping a petrol head find a match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quickly, free bring some in. I noticed her earlier on the street as I was walking. Did you? Yeah. Cute <laughs> slash stalkerish. I like it. And in Bristol, our guy on the hunt has very high expectations. No, I prefer shorter hair. Yeah. Yeah, so like similar to mine, maybe. Right. Bit, bit, of, a, bit of a shave, like you side back. You basically want someone who I looks like, like you. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Street mate, the dating show with a difference. I'm here in Cardiff on hand to help one lucky local find a date right on the streets of their hometown. What is the typical Welsh girl? Um, very lively, easy to talk to, bubbly, happy. Oh, this is lovely. Would you kiss on a first date? There is nothing off limit for me on a first date. Anything goes. That sounds really bad, doesn't it? <laughs> Rydychni'n edrych yn rewiol. That means you look very sexy. I'm here to find a date for one Cardiff singleton who's hungry for love. Hello. Come on through. So I've been in my house for about three years nearly now. This is my boss, Chris. And uh, also a friend, but uh, mainly boss. I've known Sophie for about 18 months. Um, we worked together in... Uh, the motor industry. Look at you with the roof down, you poser. Shame you don't know how to drive it. <laughs> I would definitely describe my love life like a car crash. Yeah, but does yours sound like this? Sophie tends to put up a bit of a front, and this probably leads her to attracting the wrong type of man. So I've got tattoos, which goes all the way up here, going down my back. But I've had strict instructions from my best friend, who I'm bridesmaid for. No more tattoos or piercings. One of the things I like most about Sophie is she's extremely funny. It'd be nice to, to meet someone who actually likes pets. I think this is why I'm alone. Hello. Are you all right, Sophie? Yeah, I'm good. So who am I looking for? Like, what sort of... Character. They got a bit of banter about themselves. They can't be like taken to us too seriously or you know be too boring. They gotta make me laugh. That's one of the main things. Yeah. Muscles, slim yeah. build. Muscles. muscles. You yeah. like muscles. Yeah. How big can we go? I don't want to go too big. Just okay. like rugby kind of stop. Rugby-ish bearded tattoos. Because obviously you've got all your lovely artwork. Yeah. Do any mean anything? I wear my heart on my sleeve, quite literally. <gasps> oh, I love that. Let's see that. <laughs> When I find you the love of your life, you can get, get filled, that filled in. in. <gasps> yes, I love this. Like Craig David. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go? <laughs> right, what about him with the car? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Quickly, yeah. free, bring someone. Hi. Hi. Sorry, is it okay if I have a little chat with you? Yeah. I'm just wondering if you're single. Because I am looking for a date for my lovely friend. <laughs> I'm alright, honestly. No? Yeah, yeah, cheers. That's okay, have a good day. Just sort of said. No, thank you. You're not offering him a big issue. Why are you just... <laughs> it's still early doors. I'm feeling confident. Yeah. Sun's out. Guns out. Sun's out, guns out. <laughs> what about the guy with the purple jacket on? He's got a beard. He looks muscly. He works for a charity. Go and ask him. Yeah? OK, OK. <laughs> Hi. What's Hi. your name? Dimitri. Dimitri. How are you doing? That's you a right? cool name. Thank you very much. Are you single? I am. So, my friend is the lovely lady over there called Sophie Hughes. I actually noticed her earlier on the street as I was walking did down. Did you? Yes, actually did. This is, this is really good news. OK. How'd it go? He's called Dimitri. Didn't ask him about the tattoos. Right, okay. I was too busy concentrating on the fact he was called Dimitri. <laughs> I was, like, amazed by that. Also, what was, like, really nice is he said that he noticed you earlier. Shut up, Yeah, you honestly, did. Are you making that up? I, I wouldn't like you. No, honestly, I wouldn't like you. I was like, ooh. <laughs> Cute <laughs> slash stalkerish. <laughs> I like it. 
you want to chat to him or we don't get too long to it. Is he? Yeah. That's okay, we can carry on walking. It was lovely to meet you. Thank you. That's Dimitri out of the running. Do you want I think to walk you should down run there? down there and you know what I'm looking for. Go get him. Okay, I'll do it. All women. Hi. Are any of you single? <laughs> Are you single? No, 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 you spoil sports. Sorry. Get back to work. <laughs> It's worth asking. That's fair enough. <laughs> His girlfriend's just waiting for him. Have you seen anyone? No, not since you went. What about him there in the pink with all the tats? Yeah, he's with his girlfriend as well. Yeah, of yeah. course he is. Of <laughs> course he is. <laughs> Let's keep walking. <laughs> Look in the window there, the travel agent. He's got a beard, he's quite muscly. Yeah, he's nice. Yeah? Yeah. Shall I go in? Yeah. Hi. Are you still okay? It's coming out, it's coming out. <gasps> I'm Scarlett, by the way. Tom. 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 It's lovely to meet you. Are you single? Yes. Yes! I'm guessing he said he was single. This could be a lucky day because okay. I have got a lovely, lovely girl called Sophie who is beautiful. She was wondering if you would go on a date. Yeah, sure. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to just go and have a little chat to Sophie and I'll be back. Is that all right? Okay. <laughs> right, Tom, that's yeah. his name. He's got a beard. Yeah. I don't know if he's got tattoos. But Doesn't he might, he yeah. might find out that he has on the date. Oh, cheeky. And he's really handsome and he just seems really nice. Yeah. Go with Tom. Oh, yes. Right. Yeah, yeah, we'll get him, we'll get him, we'll get him. I'm getting him. Come on, yeah, Tom, yeah. follow me. Uh, are you right? Yeah. I'm Tom, nice to meet you. How are you doing? Yeah. yeah. Are you embarrassed? <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. <laughs> Not at all. So, Tom, you're going on a date with Sophie? Yeah. Yeah, why Sophie? Not? Yeah, definitely. Yeah? Is he feeling it? That is. It's a street mate! <laughs> she definitely has a really distinctive style. Um, yeah, I really like the tattoos. Yeah, she's really pretty. He seems like a, a little sweetie, to be fair. Bless him. So, um, yeah, she'll be good. She'll be a good laugh. my parents' house, so I've been living here since I got back from travelling last year. Tom loves rugby. He's captained a few teams in his time, but travelling is his big passion. When I was 19, I went on a one-way flight to New Zealand and packed pretty much everything I needed into this one. I would imagine a compatible girlfriend for Tom would be somebody with a sense of adventure to match his. I'd definitely like to be with someone who's spontaneous, you know, and up for a laugh, go on weekend trips away and whatever. Love animals. Be kind. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous, but hopefully it should go OK. You're both in the same boat, so there's no need to be nervous, really. When I saw him earlier on, I thought he was around about 25-ish. I wouldn't go any lower than um, a couple of years younger than me, because I know it takes guys a little bit longer to mature than it does women. Ready to go. I'm so excited about Sophie and Tom, so I've teed up a date that should see them perfectly matched. I hear you right. Hi, uh, How's it going? Yeah, I'm nice. good. You right? Thank yeah, you. Good. Just, oh, you got your slippers on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> oh. oh, my God! Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Come on, you can do it. Oh. oh! Right, if I don't get this, there's something majorly wrong with me. Yeah, she looks really pretty. Definitely, definitely a solid 9 out of 10. Nice. <laughs> He's quite a big guy. Oh dear. He's actually quite a you know a handsome chap. Oh nice. How old are you? 23, you're like selling nappies. She did say I'm in nappies, yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, she's got good bands here. No, stay, 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 stay. Bye bye ball. He's quite mature for his age to be fair, you know. He doesn't look 23 anyway. Oh, oh really? <laughs> but I wouldn't say I look 27 either. Oh! You win. Good job. I love being a winner. Yeah. 100% he did not let me win. <laughs> yeah, of course I let her win. Ooh, love yeah, <laughs> How long have you been single now? Oh, 18 months now. Yeah. yeah, quite a while. Dating sites. Yeah. All the best. What dating sites are you on? 
I couldn't possibly tell you. No? <laughs> yeah, it was definitely nice to have a little chat. Um, it's quite romantic and polite, actually. So what is your normal type of girl that you would normally go for? Someone who's pretty chilled out. Someone a bit sort of different, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. What about you with guys? Man is a big thing. Open door, you know, which you did earlier, so that was a tick. Pouring a glass of champagne. Well, actually, I did that, so it's a tick for me. I didn't finish my food. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't finish my food. <laughs> I know. I'd say we've uh, got a bit of a, a match. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Going on. Not bad in a day's work. Not bad at all, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it was really good. Yeah, it was a really good laugh, to be fair. Well, that looks promising. Tom seems to tick all the boxes, so fingers crossed for a second date. We'll find out later. Also, coming up, I'm heading to Bristol, where one lad is hard to please. I don't like the jeans and shoe combo. Look there, with the yellow jacket on. He's Aww. got dyed hair. What am I actually going to do? the show where I pound the streets of the UK on a mission to spread the love. Today I'm in Bristol, the city of Banksy, boats and a whole bunch of people looking for love. Would you kiss on a first date? Yeah, why not? Why not? Everyone loves kisses, so if you're on a date and it's going well... I wouldn't kiss on the first date. Well, OK, maybe I didn't kiss my boyfriend on the first date. I'm just wondering, would you kiss on a first date? <laughs> Said nay. I am here with my bone arrow, ready to play Cupid. All I need is someone to come and join us who needs a helping hand. Hello, come on in. This is uh, my new house. This is my bedroom, as you can see, very tidy. I really do like to look after myself. I think appearance is quite important. I go to the gym four or five times um, a week, and get my eyebrows done, and this is my uh, best friend, Steph. Mike comes across like really confident and a proper man's man, but underneath it all, he is quite a little softy. She just had a baby with a fella from One Direction. Oh, Shell Cole? Yes, well done. <laughs> I work for a hospice. The only sort of people that I sort of get attention from are like the older lady. You know, the 70s and over absolutely love me, but that's not sort of the attention that I want. That's it. An MP, maybe? Are you mad? <laughs> I, I, I ain't gonna get this. He's very fussy when it comes to men. He has got very high standards. When you go on a first date and you meet someone for the first time, you literally are looking at what they're wearing, what shirt they've got on, what they've done with their hair. I straight away look at someone's footwear and then work my way up got a thing against people that are, like wear brown shoes. Like You can get nice brown shoes, like you can get tan shoes. But I think footwear is really important. Being in love is a great thing. In a relationship, I put my whole heart into it. Um, and I want to generally meet someone that could potentially be my partner for life. Mike. Hello. How are you? Yeah, I'm really good, thank let's, you. Let's nice hug, let's hug. Yeah, so, you are a catch. I mean, you're caring, Thanks. you're good looking, you sound like a hard grafter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I feel like I need to make sure that I get you someone Top notch, so yeah. what am I looking for? It's got to be taller than me, so about six foot. Um, yeah. Tattoos, beard, quite a nice build. Somebody who's quite casual, nicely dressed, a bit similar to what I dress like. Right, I yeah. feel like in my head I've got a good picture of the person yeah. that we need to find. Should we yeah. go and do it? Let's go. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Let's go. What about one, any of them in the suits? Looks quite old. Not old. But, but maybe he's just had a hard paper out. Just him up there with the yellow jacket on. He's no. got dyed hair. It's not my type at all. Not at all. No. That's okay. What about him with the shades on there? I don't like the jeans and shoe combo. See, I'm so picky and I. I can't force you to fancy somewhat. You're like, you but will. But I do feel you like will. you need to maybe loosen the reins a little bit. Just give people a chance. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> He's fit. He's got like sleeve tattoos. Is he yeah, your he type? Is, quite hard. is yeah. he? Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna go in. I'm gonna go in. I'm okay. gonna go in. You stay here. You stay here. Hi, are you all right? He's got tattoos. He's got nice, light blonde hair. Yeah, no, looking positive. <laughs> I mean, he's that lovely guy over there, and he's tanned, and he's got a little beard, and he's got camo on. Yeah, he's cute. Yeah? yeah. <gasps> oh, this makes me so happy. He looks nice from a distance, but I think up close, I'm not 100% sure. It's not, like, 
didn't really like carry himself like the kind of guy that I'd look for. Why do you want people to carry the cells? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. Better look next time. Should we have a little look up here? What about long hair? No, I prefer shorter hair. Do you? Yeah, yeah right, so okay. like similar to mine, maybe. Right. Bit, bit, of, a, bit of a shave by You side, basically want someone who I looks like, like me. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've literally just realised you I'm want I'm looking someone. for me. Here I am. Well, him here with the beige T-shirt on. I'm with her. <laughs> <laughs> he looks quite sweet. I like girls, sorry. I'm actually in a relationship with a girl since uh, I've been in a relationship for five <laughs> years. So my gaydar is off. Yeah, is it? Tell yeah. I, told him, I ain't got one. The guy and he's got like a beard. Yeah, he looks quite nice. Yeah, shall yeah, I go, go, on, go, on, shall yeah. go and chat to yeah, him? Yeah, yeah, go and see what he says. Hi! No, he's not my type. Are you single? Are you interested in men? Because that would I'm be I'm single, helpful. I'm interested in men. Yeah? Is he your type? Yeah. He is? Yeah. Oh, you please stay, you don't leave. I know where you work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> From a distance, he seemed like quite nice. I liked obviously the shirt and stuff. But up close, like the nose ring and stuff like that, and the trainers and things like that. Like, I know he can change it, but he's not my type. I feel like we can't judge someone purely on the trainers. But if I like one. his nose ring and stuff like that, it's not something I would go it's for. Not. No. Right. This is awkward. Oh, this is awkward for I me. I know, and for me. Not for you. Squidge along. Basically, Mike has got a thing about piercings. Like a bad thing. Yeah. That's all right. Lots of people do. He was so nice. What am I actually going to do? We have looked everywhere. I feel like literally I've walked from one end of Bristol to the other end. If he leaves it with me, I've got a plan. Yeah. If you trust in me, brace yourself. Go on a blind date. That is a lot of trust. It's a, it's a lot to ask because trust. of how fussy you yeah, are, yeah. but I know what you're after. Yeah. I'll do it. Yeah? Possible, yeah? Really? I'm putting my faith and trust in you. Oh, well, you can. You don't let me down. I won't oh. let you down. <laughs> I won't let you down. That's fine. Right. Oh, just nearly got swept up by a seagull. <laughs> I've never been on a blind date before. I've never done it because I'm so fussy, but I'm going to try and give someone the benefit of the doubt and get to know them as a person. I think I've found the perfect person for Mike who might just tickle his fancy. Fingers crossed. I'm looking for somebody who is really manly. My partner should be taking a care about himself. I'm definitely going to be moisturising the body, make sure I'm smelling good, get some nice stuff on the hair. I think I am a happy person. I love music, I love dance, I love theatre. I think everything what is close to art. I haven't had a second date in so long, so actually I'd love to get a second or third date. Fingers crossed. I'm feeling really confident about my blind date choice for Mike. What better than a bottle of bubbly down the river? I'm sure that'll float his boat. Hello, you all right? Hello, you okay? I'm Mike. Nice to meet you. You okay? Yeah, yeah, you? Yeah, good, thank you. Is it yours, yeah? No. I thought it was yours. Oh. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh no, that's how you get bubbles. Sorry, I'm so nervous about this. Don't be nervous. Like... Are you nervous now? Yeah, of you course. Actually... I am. Don't be nervous. It's fine. I'm not now. Okay. Cheers. So, are you in a gym and that kind of stuff? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, so like... like four or five times a week. Oh. Yeah. Okay. How old are you then? Uh, I'm 31. Are you, you? actually? Are yeah. oh, you younger than 31? Oh really? Thank you oh, very yeah, much. So, like, no at all. He really nice. He's really chatty. I think he's a really nice guy, like a polite. I didn't look at his shoes. Have you looked at his shoes? Are they, are they bad shoes? I hope that that is on the right way to have a good chat. Do you, Do you like festivals or that kind of stuff? I've never been to one. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be like traipsing around in wellies. OK, then. Why do you like festivals? I love it, yeah. I'm doing another stuff like the play the piano, guitar, that kind of stuff a little bit. I really like it. I don't do anything. Uh, uh, it's probably have a different quality. Yeah, yeah. What's that there? Come on, you don't know what is, what is it? No. Seriously? <laughs> no way. Are you? No, it's like a museum, I... so you can go inside. What, like a boat museum? Yeah. It's... That's good that you know that. I ain't got a clue. Yeah. 
I can tell you all about shows that I watch, like celebrities. Oh, ah, okay. Like, do you watch reality TV and stuff like that? Not really often. No. Do you want anything to nibble on? Is it from your garden? From my garden? No. Mm -hmm. do you, I don't do gardening either. I don't think we've got a lot in common. But, um, yeah, he, he's a nice guy, and I think that's what it... You know, it's been nice, he's got good conversation, good chat. We have a little bit different opinion and some, some kind of stuff, but... But it's... it's good. But what's your longest relationship? Three years. Yeah, so you've been in love once. Yeah. Yeah, same. You? So, yeah, 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 just the once, yeah, yeah. But no, no, it's been nice, I've had a nice time. I hope you yeah, have as well, yeah. the same from my side. He's a really good-looking guy. See you later. His outfit wasn't like what I would have chose, but he's a nice guy, had lots of conversation. Maybe we doesn't match together enough, but we'll see. I've got general knowledge if you read The Daily Mail and Heat magazine. So if you want to know anything about all the shows on TV, I'm your guy. But all the things he wanted me to know about, I don't know anything about. We haven't changed the number, no. On paper, he probably is my type. In terms of he's tall, he's got a beard. Um, and then literally within about 15 minutes, I kind of found out that we had nothing at all in common. Not one like, thing. Like, we couldn't have been so far. The only thing we had in common was the Prosecco. <laughs> Everything else, nothing at all. So did you swap digits? No, because he was off that boat quicker than as if it was sinking. <laughs> I literally was like, see you later then. Are yeah. you taking anything away from this experience? To be less fussy, I didn't look at his shoes to start with. I know. This is already bad. I literally, I had to worry about getting on the boat. And obviously, I've got like a million things on checklist. As I go around, I'm actually going to try and knock a few of them off. Good. And just sort of see what comes of it. But blind dates... No, not, not for you. Not for me. Not unless it's an opportunity to walk up and turn away. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> and finally, time to find out how Sophie and Tom got on, on their crazy golf date. Oh, hello. <laughs> how are you? Yeah, I'm all right. How are you? Fine. So, how was your date with the lovely Tom? It was a good laugh, but um, I, I haven't found my Mr. Right. He was a little bit younger than me as well, so, you know. Oh, he seems so cute. Have you stayed in contact, as in friends? We swapped numbers and I texted him back and just said, oh, take care kind of thing. So it was like a, a nice text, but nothing for him to respond to. So it was like a nice goodbye? Yeah. Well, I wish you all the best of luck. You'll find your somebody. In 2085, you've got loads of time. <laughs> See you later, chick. Bye.